Hey, Phantom Maniacs, welcome to the final needless unboxing of 2021. This one came in just under the wire. I've actually had it for a little while now, but there has been so much other stuff that I've wanted to get videos up for uh, that even though it looks incredible, Goliath here kind of took a back seat. But now I, I'm doing it as kind of a special bonus to wrap the year up and because I strongly suspect He's going to make my top 10 for the year, which you will be able to find on the Needless Things podcast Instagram page. Uh, I, I mean, let's let's get to it. NECA announced the Gargoyles license. Obviously, they want to kick it off with Goliath. And until you see this thing in person, you do not realize just how massive it is. When I saw this box, I was like, whoa, because... It took a while for me to find it in the wild. It was available from uh, BigBadToyStore.com, and I just I couldn't quite pull the trigger on it. But then once I saw it on the shelf and saw just the size of this huge thing, I was like, I, I got to get it. I have to get it. Uh, the Gargoyles cartoon was fantastic. It's available on Disney+. Plus. If you didn't watch it, you should. Uh, Goliath ultimate action figure. Gorgeous art on the front of the box. On the side, you get a shot of the figure itself. On the back, figure, number of poses, uh, accessories. Includes book, pepper, interchangeable head and hands. Uh, and then up here at the top, you can see a little bit of bio. Gargoyles. Frozen in stone by day, flesh and blood winged warriors by night. Awaking after a thousand years, a band of powerful gargoyles find themselves transported to a time and place not their own. New York City. Here the misunderstood creatures battle modern day barbarians and struggle to understand their strange new world. Gargoyles. The legend begins. Pretty intense. And and there is some stuff in the cartoon that you'll be surprised to see uh, coming from Disney, especially Disney of the early 90s. Uh, so there, another shot of the figure, the figure itself. I can't wait. Let's go ahead and get this thing out of here. Oh, and bottom of the box, Huge thing that NECA does. Credits for all of the people involved in the creation of the toy, the packaging, whatever else. I, I, I love this. I absolutely do. But you guys know that. All right. Let's slice through that piece of adhesive tape. Let's see what we got here. I, I'm telling you guys, this thing is so big. Uh, you, I had to make a little camera adjustment. I had to sort of figure out how I wanted to do this because of how massive this guy is. Uh, we've got two trays here out of necessity. These wings, you guys. Oh, this is insane. Let's see here. Oh, man. Absolutely beautiful. And these are nice rigid ABS plastic. These are not going to droop and sag. Now, the connection point remains to be seen. And, well, you know, I won't know that for quite some time, obviously, uh, for the purposes of, of this review. But this is solid. These are not going to give you a problem. This is great. I love that they made it out of this rigid. I don't know if you can pick that up or not. But, uh, solid rigid plastic that's fantastic because that was one of my concerns if they used a softer pvc for those wings uh it would have essentially ruined the figure right, we've got his tail his angry head look at this no tape on the accessories absolutely fantastic i'm just going to dump those right out here don't want to lose that pepper and finally, okay, yeah, we do have one, two, three tabs on this guy. So we're going to snip through those. Uh, you'll notice I, I had actually had somebody ask about the 1964 box cutter. Um, so just to, since this is the wrap up of the year, I, I just got a couple of new tools that I'm trying out, seeing how they work. The 1964 box cutter is not necessarily gone forever, but uh, this little bit of business has been pretty handy. I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's a little quicker to use, I think. And then these, obviously, these things are better than a full-size pair of snippers, uh, scissors, rather. Uh, they replace scissors and the fingernail cutters 
fingernail trimmers that I was using before. They serve both purposes. So these things are pretty handy as well. You can get them at, well, you might be able to get them at like Target or Walmart. I don't know, but I got them from a craft store. They're a little pricier than regular scissors, but like I said, they're so, their functionality is so nice that they're worth it. All right, let's get all of that out of the way and take a look at this big boy. Uh, he feels good. He's got a nice heft. And he fully extended, you know, you're not going to be posing him like this because these guys don't stand, you know, straight. Oh, he's got a nice ratcheting joint there at that knee. That's going to be very good for holding the pose because with such a large figure, you know, whether or not he can hold a pose is a concern for sure. Same thing at the ankle. Uh, you've got that nice ratcheting joint. And then the toes here, which... You know, normally, oh, and that's a really strong, that's great. Uh, you know, I, I normally, I never want toe articulation, but with, with the design of this character, uh, you have to. You have to have it. Uh, so he's got great leg joints, uh, your stand, kind of standard issue uh, with the swivel at the top of the thigh and the ball joint going into the leg. And everything is nice and tight, but able to be moved. So as far as like, oh, we need to heat this guy up. As of right now, he, everything seems fine. Let's check out these arm joints and see what else we've got going on. Uh, that shoulder feels nice. Not a ratcheting joint, but solid. Very interested to see how the shoulder functions around this little lump of muscle right here on the side of his pec. No, uh, not bad. Uh, oh, actually, okay, look at that. You can get a nice, just straightforward arm pose. That's good, because that kind of tucks away into the bicep there. So very cool. Uh, and then you've got the double-jointed arms, which I'll be honest, uh, at this point in my collecting and my toy fandom, I would have preferred a single joint with a swivel here over the bicep and the double joint. Uh, I'm a little tired of the look of the double jointed elbow, especially with pins. I think there are better ways. And I'm not saying this is, this figure isn't still like absolutely incredible. It is. Uh, but the, the double jointed elbow is not the necessity to me that it used to be. Oh, look at that. That's funny. Okay. So, it's a little lesson learned, perhaps, uh, from Mattel, from Messing Up Roboto years ago. Uh, you can see the little L right here sculpted into that shoulder joint so they don't accidentally get them reversed. And, of course, there's no need for an R. You only need one of them marked. Uh, oh, wait, I was, I was wrong. You can see the R right back there. But you'd think you could have just marked one of them, whatever. Doesn't matter. Very smart of uh, NECA to do that. Although, if you want him opened up here, that L is unfortunately revealed. So, at the very least, uh, they should have marked that under here like they did with the R. But whatever. Not a big deal. That doesn't bother me at all. It's not like it's some like bright printing printed number or something on the inside of the thigh. Uh, all right, so all of our joints are moving really well on this guy. He does, and I, and I hate to say things that sound this sort of mean or, or uh, dismissive, but he doesn't feel like a NECA toy. And, and I, I, I'm sorry, you know what I mean by that. You just do. He feels all of his movement is nice. He's sturdy. Every, all the joints are, are working great. Uh, I'm not worried about breaking him uh, as I'm sitting here posing him and playing around. He is going to be a challenge to get to stand up with those wings on. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, and, and I may be hanging him from the ceiling anyway, so it might not matter. But I'm very curious to see how I'm going to be able to pose this guy or stand this guy once I put these wings in. All right. So uh, loincloth, you can see the gigantic belt, the nicely painted belt buckle. Uh, there's actually a paint wash on the loincloth to give it some more character. Uh, and then his skin also has a wash to really bring out that muscle tone. 
uh, and give it uh, more of a, a lively look than if it was just that, that pale lavender all the way through. Looks great. Uh, so how is this even going to work? Because as you can see, his hair completely covers up where those wings are going to plug in. Let's get his tail in there first. So his tail uh, actually has a couple of spots of, of the paint on it just to give it a little, little life, I guess. And hopefully it will easily plug in. I'm going to lift this up and see if it'll make it a little easier. This may require some heating. And uh, unlike the Action Force reviews that you guys might have watched here this week. Oh, there we go. Popped right in. Not, not the most attractive uh, portion of the figure, but it's under the loincloth, so it doesn't matter. So he's got this long, impressive tail. Uh, with a nice strong wire armature in it. Looks pretty good. And uh, I just answered my own question. That's how that guy's going to stand up when you put his wings in, because he's got that, uh, he's got that tail right there to help you balance him. So there you go. Excellent engineering and, uh, you know, character design, obviously. So there's that. Now we've just got to figure out how the wing and hair situation works. So his head, I'm actually a little surprised that there's not a joint at the base of the neck here. The head is, we'll just pop this off and see what we're dealing with. Just on a barbell right there, but has a, would have a pretty good range were it not for the hair. And I mean, that's, that's how he's designed. So. Let's grab a wing. And you can see there's a peg that is split at the end. And it's just going to plug. Oh, that plugged in almost too easily. Now I'm almost a little concerned. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's a strong ratchet, like loud clicking ratchet, and probably due to the nature of the rigid plastic here. So let's plug in the other wing. These are huge, you guys. The first time you hear that clicking sound, you're going to be alarmed, and it's okay. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Doesn't even fit in the frame. Uh, you can see. <laughs> I think I'm just going to have to leave the aspect ratio, the native ratio of the, the camera for this review. I was going to close it down to the normal square size that I like. Uh, but just so you guys can see these insane wings, I think we've got to leave it the way it is. So. For the first portion of this review, we're not making a whole lot of use of this area. But now you can see, my gosh, all right, now we got to get this head on and see what we're dealing with. Uh, because I really am not quite sure how well the hair is going to interact with these wings. I mean, I'm sure NECA put thought into it and, and it works fine. But it is a little weird that there's that much uh, wing to deal with. Ooh, this is going to be a little tricky, perhaps. I'm concerned about stabbing myself from several different angles. Because he's got his little hooks up here. He's got these pointy parts here. I'm trying to find a good angle. There we go. Okay. Head's popped on. And as you can see, the sculpt of the hair is designed around the wings. Okay, so they click both ways. When you move them up and down, they click. And when you rotate them, uh, they also click. So he... Get a hold of this torso joint here because I want to see how he can't look forward particularly well because of the hair sculpt, because of the design and everything. Although you got to think 
he's going to be looking down at most uh, characters he's interacting with. What a massive, beautiful figure this is. Holy cow, you guys. Uh, this is something else. So I wish... The, the one thing looking at right now, uh, looking at this figure right now that I wish, is that the head had a little more up and down. Like, I would like him to be able to look forward a little better, and he just can't. But I'm not sure... Uh, really, my, my original thought of there being a joint here as well is the only way that could have been accomplished. Uh... I'm trying to put, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, look at that. So that barbell, you kind of just have to, to push back and up a little bit at the same time. And look at that. You can get that head looking forward exactly like I wanted. Fantastic. All right, now there, there's Goliath. Huge, massive, impressive. Uh, and his wings in sort of cape form will be included with, I think they're coming with Bronx uh, further down the line, which I'm fine with. I have zero problem with that because this to me was, I think it was, it was either 35 bucks or 40 bucks for this incredible figure. That price point is very fair. And if they want to split accessories up in that way, I don't have a problem with it because Bronx, it just isn't going to have as many accessories as Goliath is. Uh, and the, the Cape wings are not, you know, they're great, but they're not a necessity for this figure. Uh, we've got the book here. Kind of nicely generic book of magic or history or whatever it is. I can't remember. It's been a minute since I watched the cartoon, so I don't know the significance of this specific book. Um, I'm trying to think if it's maybe the one that Demona steals, but she steals so much stuff, I'm not positive. And then we've got the pepper here. The painted stem, nicely sculpted, looks great. Probably going in a bag, but still nice to have. And then you've got some closed fists. Painted and detailed to match the default claw hands. And then finally, kind of a hand to, for holding things. This would be the equivalent of a C-grip, I guess, where you can put uh, the book in this hand. But also, possibly, but not really, the pepper. You can just kind of hold it like that. Uh, so there you go. I think this is a heck of a figure to close out 2021. NECA has done something really special here. I'm super excited about this line. I can't say I would have said, hey, could somebody please do Ultimate Modern Gargoyles figures? But now that NECA is doing them, uh, this is... This is fantastic. Uh, what, a, what a great figure. And please check out the Needless Things podcast Instagram page to find out if this makes it onto my top 10 of 2021. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe, share. Smash that like button if you like Needless Things.